Hey everybody, SlayerXTR here with GameInfusion.com and Parenting Gaming <laughs> for more daylight. Oh my god, I don't know if I can want to continue, but let's keep going. I gotta man up. Man up or shut up, that's for damn sure. Ah, here we go. Attention guards, by order of Dr. Mercer, guards are to remain outside of the infirmary at all times, unless otherwise no notified. When dropping off prisoners or patients, guards may remain outside of infirmary doors but are not allowed to enter unless specifically requested by Dr. Mercer. Any guard who does not comply will be terminated on spot with no benefits. Uh, I wouldn't want to be a guard here then. I wouldn't want to be a guard here. Uh, I don't. Are we in the infirmary or something? I can't get in there. Oh, oh fucking bitch. You just know. Yeah, I think that's Dr. Mercer. They got us talking to us. Inmates think that this penitentiary is some kind of joke. They think that since there are so many inmates that we don't know how to keep them in line. And to be honest, that's not fair, far from the truth. Not only have I been informed that we have less than five months until the place is shut down, I've also been told that we've reached full capacity. I hear some of the guards talking about not stopping the fights anymore and letting the prisoners solve our little population problem with themselves. Gilbert, oh that's a nice way of getting things solved. I like that initiative. R remarkable. People, my girlfriend was messaging me while I was playing my game. I'm like, no you cannot message me while I'm playing my game. This doesn't seem to be working yet. So I gotta find power maybe? Society's needs come before the individual's needs. Yeah, yeah sure, you're a fucking psychopath. Since you are new to this part of the prison, I wanted to give you a heads up on how things work around here. Make sure guards are standing by when you open the doors after questioning. <coughs> like an inter interrogation area? The doors themselves are all triggered on the same electric switch. Cheap bastards, right? And don't worry about the clunking sounds you hear in the pipes. There ain't no ghosts. It's just the boilers being routed through this area. Expect to see maintenance down here every once in a while. Messing with the valves and checking to make sure all the seals are intact. Welcome to the big leagues, kid. I don't want to be in this. If it's the big leagues, I'm scared. I'm not, I don't want to be in it. All right, good deal. And eh? Okay. Ah, more notes. Ah, oh, October 13, 1934, to Dr. Mercer. Even as a new financial advisor in Mid Island Penitentiary, there isn't anything I could do to keep this place running for more than nine months. Almost all funding had been cut because of the poor performance of the penitentiary. While you claim to have made great scientific breakthroughs, we need results. We need results. We need anything else but results. Oh, man. Uh, violence doesn't stop where we're going to. Face closure. Stuck giving out healthier, heavier doses of pills or something. We simply cannot support any more lawsuits. Eh? Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and come over. I can't see anything. The f bitch, dude, you. What? How can you not see anything? Oh, okay. But they suffered. They suffered. Word. What are you talk? What are you babbling about? What is what is Sarah? What are you going on about, baby? I'm here. Don't worry about it. Eh. Yeah. Uh -huh. I bet I can't move on until I turn the pipes off. Yeah, that's what I figured. I didn't want to walk into that cloud of death. Got a steam could have been really bad for my health. Really bad for my, uh... I can't take it. Eh. Yeah. Ugh. Avoid the steam. Well, no sh... Oh, fucking A. You... you s Be careful. Can't always avoid the steam. This bitch is wanting to give me a damn heart attack. I can feel it. I can feel it in my chest. Onward and upward, my dear. 
Uh -huh. much to see. It's a little time because... I, I ain't going down there. You can fuck off. That's just wait, that's just bad stuff waiting to happen to me. Oh, there's another picture. Um, okay. Another picture. Like some kind of cuffs. Oh, I've got to go down there. Don't I? Oh, you fucking kidding me? Saving content. Oh, where are we at? Oh, no. I can barely see. Oh, no. Oh, I hate sewers. Oh, I hate sewers. I hate outlast sewers. Misery. Hello? Empty. Remnant, maybe? Uh, I can't use that. Fuck me, dude. Those loud noises are scary as fuck. Ah, remnant. Found some paper at the pump room. It's been two days since the crows attacked me on the on the docks and drove me into these tunnels. It was like they were hurting me here. I ran deeper in a panic when I thought I saw someone chasing me and before I knew it, I was completely lost. Oh god, I hope I find my way out soon, the crow man. Is he gonna be like a boss? Okay. Okay. Wait, there's one. Ah, here we go. Mid Island Hospital Maintenance Report, 19, March 24, 1940. Ploy Rob Sandova. Serviced electricity on second floor unserviced. While fixing a bathroom sink on the second floor, the lights on the entire floor flickered and went out. Nothing appeared wrong with the breakers. After a short time, lights suddenly turned on again on their own. We need to check previous service records and look for any correlation. What is this? Could this be our sigil room? Ah, that is our sigil area. Why is it telling? Uh, yeah. Sure. Oh. You're... Uh. Oh, fuck off, bitch. Please, God. Make it stop. Don't worry. I'm here with you. I'm here. Well, that bitch could just sit down somewhere. Shut up. Yeah, that's what you thought. That's what you get. The flare will protect me. I have the light. I did have the light. Oh, boy. All right, another flare. Problem is, ah, here's a remnant in a box. It feels weird keeping a diary, but one of the newer docs on the island is recommending all of us guards to do it, to to deal with a high stress environment. Sounds like a crock to me, but Mercer thought it'd be a good idea. The hardest part about it, though, is finding a place I feel like I can write. I tried doing it in the break room, and the guys made fun of me. If I do it at my at home, my family makes fun of me too. Figured Mercer wouldn't mind if I stepped down here into the tunnels for a bit in peace and quiet. Some of my, some of the guys complained about the smell, but I gotta admit, I find it kind of peaceful. It's nice to get away from all the screams. Eh? Well, I'm screaming like a little fucking girl. Hmm. Huh. Where do we go from here? That way is the sigil. Nope. Stay back, you bitch. My almighty flare will save me. Okay, that's not gonna work. Ah, here's another one. Get 
Get a grip, woman. We've got enough flares to protect us. I gulped. I was like, oh, hell. The crows weren't hurting me. I understand now. We all serve. We all offer up flesh for the return. I must find flesh for the birds. Flesh for the return. The crow man. The crow man. That sounds like a wrestler. Aha. Mid Island Hospital Maintenance Report, March 23rd, 1940. Ploy Rob Sandoval. Service to second floor lighting. Nurse Daniels reported lights on the second floor weren't working. I found no such problems this evening. The breakers and fuses all looked fine, and I could not find a single bulb that was burned out. This is the third time Nurse Daniels has submitted a false request to maintenance. It might not be a false request, you dick. Ugh. Ah! I am not claiming it yet until I find my way out. Ah, uh, pipe leaks. Employee Adam Peterson, 1932. With the funds available, I managed to hire two temporary workers to come down and tackle the pipe problem. Other problems were deemed irrelevant. However, retaining those employees has proven to be a problem. I don't speak much of their language, but they keep saying something about a flashing light and a face. I have no idea what they're talking about. I'll admit, though, those stories of wandering shadows do feel a bit more real down here. Fucking damn right they do. Oh. Yeah. You're a little sn I love how she tries to sneak attack me. She's like, I'm a rogue. I'm just like, no, you're not. If you're a rogue. I'm a damn. I'm a ninja because I just kicked that ass. I found another flare. Because you can hear walking up behind you. Come on! I'll, I'll tackle her. I don't give a shit. But I gotta back off my health. Got my health calm down a little bit. I've got to find the other room before we can kind of tackle the uh, the sigil. I don't want to go blind where I'm going. Okay, another flare. I'm back to being full on flares. That's a good thing. Here it is. Ah, Mid Island Hospital Maintenance Report, September 8, 1932. Employee Adam Peterson, serviced sewer tunnels. After the cell blocks lost water pressure again, I was assigned to investigate the sewage tunnels. I brought my lamp and a map to the old pump room, and now that I've looked around, things are a lot worse than we originally thought. Several sewage pipes are busted and no longer <coughs> draining properly. The wiring's been cut in several places, which is likely to cause electrical shorts in the building, and bricks dislodge themselves from the ceiling at random. It's not safe down here anymore. A complete overhaul is in order. Alright, found you. Let me go up to it, mate. Where's the key? Alright, we know. We know where the key's at. Don't worry, bitch. Ah, oh, that's a cute. Okay. Sigils on straight down. It's just kind of a. Okay. I've, as long as I got the flare, I should be okay. Uh, no. No, thank you. Nope, no. Nope. I get turned around a little real easy. This is the only part I hate picking those things up and seeing that. Ugh. Please tell me it isn't true. It can't be. They never forgave those who persecuted them so. 400 years of rage, Sarah. 400 years of rage. Oh, fuck you. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Oh, fuck off. Ah, oh, fuck off! Ah, yeah! Fuck that bitch! Oh, oh, oh my God! Oh, oh, fuck that bitch! 
Oh my gosh. Oh wow, guys. Oh, that was crazy. I heard her running right behind me. I was like, oh, I'm screwed if I don't get to the end. Oh my god. Oh. oh. Come on, old Betsy. You got this. Oh. oh. <coughs> I've never been scared like that in anything in my life. That was crazy. So now where are we, I wonder? All right, what we got here? The more I keep at this diary business, the more I like it. I took the wandering in the tunnels a bit and found the old pump room. I'd heard they'd wanted to treat the sewage on the island here, turn it into drinking water or something. Guess it never really got that far off the ground. Still, it's my good fortune. Now I got this nice little private office with a desk I can use when Mercer isn't using it. It's almost like my own personal little fortress. I keep hearing stuff behind me and it's really creeping me out. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and grab these. Mercer told me I couldn't come to my office anymore. He says there's too much work to do for me to come down here whenever I want. <coughs> I tried to explain to him that I need this place, that it helps me deal with the stress. What does he care, though? I can't ride anywhere else. This is the only place I feel like I hear the real things inside my head. It's odd, I'm never lonely down here. It feels like I'm with my mother, but she died years ago. There's some sort of presence here and I can't give that up. I think this is where I belong. That's creepy as fuck. Given time, one can conceive the unconceivable. Right? One of the new guards went missing. We don't typically come down here, but Mercer asked us to find him before he gets in the way of the work we're doing. Hope the kid's okay. Uh, he probably fell in, he probably died. The, the ghost probably took his life. Made him his bitch. Made him her bitch. Come on, give me a save point here. We found him. We all knew he was upset about how some of the other guards were treating him, but the docs told us his diary was helping him. I read through it to look for a suicide note, but his last entry doesn't make any sense. Transcribed here for clarity, and we're going to pass it on to the police in case it's some kind of code. 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13. That's creepy. Doc, I did what you asked. Patient 13's records were destroyed and we burnt everything that she ever wore, used, or created in the sewer furnace. How did you know about the old furnace down in the tunnels? Doesn't look like anyone has been down there in decades. Got the glow sticks. Oh, another, another one of these little notes. October 13th, 1932, Adam Peterson. Service reset power to bridge. We almost lost the bridge the other day after a heavy rain. Remember when we get additional fluids running through here, we must raise the bridge if, you're on, if it's your only way out of here. If the power cuts out again, <coughs> it must be reset in order for the bridge to operate. All pump room staff needs to be familiarized with this process. We wouldn't want anyone getting stuck down here and missing their ferry off the island. So, they had a ferry to get him out of here. Okay. Okay, so I need to get that working, but I need to find power or something. Wait. Wait, I see him offhand. What, what, what's going on? Ah, nothing here. Huh. Well. Okay, won't let me go off. Fuck you. That's all I've got to say to that. Fuck you. Oh, here it is. Putting the pieces together, discovering how we fit. Yeah, sort of. I wish it would save, like, more often. Like, I don't know if it saved or not, because I didn't see it saving. Quiet. So quiet. All I ever wanted, all I ever needed. Now I've got it, too. Oh, I've got it all right. Now you're here. You 
Ah, here we go. There's a picture of some sort. Uh, uh, run. But this game is getting creepier and creepier as we go. And I like it. Huh? Oh, that looks creepy. I should. Ah, here we go. Alright, guys. Well, this is SlayXTR with GamerFusion.com and Paranoid Gaming. Oh. <coughs> the sewer level, that was just creepy as fuck. Okay? I don't know what anybody says about it. This game is just pounding me with just creepy factor all over the place. I love it. I'm loving every minute of it. Hope you guys are too. This is SlayXTR with GamerFusion.com and Paranoid Gaming. And I hope you guys have been enjoying my Let's Play of Diet Daylight Early Access. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll try to answer them as best I can. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel. It really helps me out, guys. Also, make sure to leave a like. Uh, also, share the video. That helps a lot, too, as well. All right, guys. Well, this is XTR with GamerFusion.com and Pioneer Gaming. Until next time, guys, I'm signing out.